Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> We're gonna sneak in a, pre a, a video today before Barking Dog starts barking. I think he's finished for today. I hope so. He's gonna get good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing? That good? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I should be sleeping in a Sunday morning. Yes. But you know, can't sleep all the time. Yeah, I've been up making tuna salad this morning. Can you believe that? I mean, I've been up quite a while, so I went through the process. Did you go through the process today? Who am I? What day it is? <laughs> I'm wonderful. You're wonderful. You're supposed to say, I'm wonderful. And then you look in the mirror, and if someone's not laughing back at you, you laugh at them. Until they laugh. You'll be surprised when you look in a mirror and you see someone in that mirror is not laughing. You start laughing. They will. <laughs> Did y'all hear the story about the cat? The, the cat, the pregnant cat? Oh, the pregnant cat came into Grandma's house and ate and played with all the yarn. For a long time, played and played and played. <laughs> Finally, it was just got stuck in his throat, and he just ate the whole thing of yarn. <laughs> well, when she had her babies, all the little, the three little kittens she had, all had matching mittens <laughs> and sweaters and hoodies, and all crocheted, <laughs> and they were all the same color red. <laughs> Okay, that's a okay, that's a kid's joke, but it's still funny. <laughs> no, cats should not have twine, red dental floss, anything cuz they, they get trapped, you know, when they start playing with it, then they get trapped and then they they start eating it and it just tangles up. I mean, it's really really bad situation. Now that was great. I went from be happy to bad situation. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know, I know, I know, I know. But to Barbara, drink your coffee. Mm -hmm. Ah, I when I was reading, I was reading the magazine this morning. We'll get to comments in just a minute. But the town of North Little Rock is doing some fantastic things. We're getting I don't know how many different. Uh, companies. Let me see if I can read them to you. Oh, uh, oh gosh, that's not the page. Let me see if I can find the page. But they're bringing in companies for and jobs into North Little Rock. They're going to become our natural state into an industrial state if they don't watch out. I know it's the two pages of it here. Okay, here they are. The Hall Trailer Break and Wheel is a big investment for. It's got two twenty million dollars invested and forty-five jobs. Creative Forms is another company coming in, and they're spending eight million, and that's thirty jobs. And the next one is Applied Technology Group, and that's one million dollars and two hundred jobs. Those are for TI jobs I think that one is software and sales and then safe food expansion is going to go from 14 million to 20 million and 30 jobs estimated now these are supposed to be completed either 23 and 24 so there's more jobs and then Winrock International is coming in with three million dollars for a hundred jobs and this is the uh, technical center Best Buy Team Technical Center and Solar Canopy is going to be on their parking lot. Oh, wow. And it's Connor, shh, Connor, that's enough. And then a new Jump Start a program, I mean, a building is coming in, it's supposed to be finished this year. I don't know what Jump Start is, but it must be something to do with children, I would think. I don't know. <laughs> it might be seniors jumping on those little trampolines that are about this big. <laughs> Have you ever tried that? Don't do it. Don't do it. 
I mean, it was terrible to put the foot on it first thing, and he was just jumping. <laughs> anyway, don't I, I don't advise it. But, you know, if you think you can, I, that's up to you. <laughs> and then some parklets. Now, I wanted to know, what, what is parklets? So I, I read it says two parklets are going to be constructed on Main Street in North Little Rock during 2022. Oh, were constructed. The concept of parklets, public seating areas that convert curbside parking places into a vibrant community space, such as a street sitting or curbside restaurant sitting, aims to increase transit and foot traffic, help businesses, and enhance already busy downtown areas. The parklet program was a joint effort with the Argena Downtown and Rock Regional Metro and the North Little Rock Economic Development Team. And then M-A-L-Y is coming in. It's M-A-L-Y Entertainment. They're putting $28 million in it. And it's 300 jobs. And it's it was supposed to be construction in 2024. This family entrepreneur revenue, oh, venue is similar to Tee Shot or Top Golf, which I don't know what that is. The project will be located on 30 acres, formerly owned by Wild River Country on Crystal Hill Road. So there are a lot of things going on in our on the north side of the river, which is North Little Rock, where I am. And uh, they they put in a real um, sort of like a log cabin kind of fire station in our park in North Little Rock. We got one of the largest city parks in the United States. Did you know that? Yeah. See, surprise every day about Arkansas. But they're going anyway. And this, but that's the new construction there. And then they've got so much. They've got teen court for the kids come in and they learn about being attorneys and stuff and something they might want to do and uh, they've got a lot going on I mean it's just exploding and it sort of bothers me a little bit because I always think of Arkansas this way you know we're in a hammock or something <laughs> And of course, in our largest park, we have in our city park we have golf, uh, the new pickleball things coming in. We've got a huge chill. Uh, what do they call it? Minor, my, not minor leagues. Uh, where the kids are uh, big programs, big programs for uh, baseball. That's it, baseball. And and here's a cute little thing. They have a fun park in there. And a lot of people go, and that's one of the new attractions there. But they have everything you can imagine. And they have lots of tables, and lots of people have uh, picnics and family reunions. Because it's huge. It's huge, and it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. So North Little Rock's a very nice place to... to uh, if you're coming through, to, to just stop and see what's going on. You know, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And here's some of the... Look. <laughs> well, anyway, I just thought it was exciting to hear all these new jobs. And on top of that, we have a new apartment complex that looks like some kind of resort from... Caribbean. I mean, it is totally awesome. In fact, I'm going to go, I'm going to be talking to them about an apartment. And it is something else. And it's, well, anyway, I'll be going in uh, to some of the apartments and checking them out. My sister's taking, taking me. And so I'm taking my time to find a, a new place. But, uh, I still have the towers, you know, but to, but now that I with you know you have to be in this waiting list. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Let's go to our comments, 
And the first one is from Body Myers. We were supposed to get snow last night, but we didn't. Oh, but well, good for you. Now, this was dated yesterday. Oh, they, yeah, yesterday, so it would, okay. What are you doing to make with the little squares? Well, I'll tell you what. It's so many possibilities because you can make them any size from that center. You can make any size square that you can put together. You can make purses, hats, scarves. And so I'm leaving that door open because... If I have enough of the yellow ones, I may, you know, make different kinds of flower looking granny squares. It's what, granny squares is what I'm making the little blocks for, uh, the centers of them. And, of course, when you make enough of these little ones, you can make the granny squares, the little bitty granny squares, just like that. And just, you know, uh, put a border around them that's white and it turns into a beautiful throw. Especially if you're using two or three colors that work real together. But I, I'm starting my collection of little uh, granny squares because I'll have those options of putting them all together. And it's just like that that thing right there that I'm, you know, that I did all the squares with that stripey. Yes, I still haven't decided how I'm going to put that, what color to combine those with. So. I'll be back back to do, doing this. But I am going to have to make some more of these hanging pot things right here. Because uh, I just may need those, you know. Something to do. And they're easy to pack and to move. And so I'm thinking about making. But then I may just stop, make, start and make little birds and things for a while. I'm making, I'm into little bitty things right now. So uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it. I think you know when you start something, uh, you want to. Sometimes you want something you can complete in a short time to give you reward for accomplishing something, being in control of something. And again, that goes to chaotic environment or chaotic issues you're having to figure out. Uh, it, it just helps me to think, okay, I am still in charge no matter what happens. Even the things that, you know, we, we cannot worry about. We have to get our minds from things we cannot worry about. And things we can't change, we just can't worry. So my remedy, besides washing dishes, which I hate, <laughs> is making little squares. And that's why they're there and i noticed here bonnie that you said you don't make the magic circles well i didn't either but they work so well with these little tiny projects that i'm doing and they're quicker but oh my gosh sometimes i forget i mean i can make four or five magic circles in a row and make those little tiny squares and then all of a sudden i forget how to do it so it's not as easy it really isn't that easy but I have, uh, but I am utilizing it right now because, you know, it's really nice where you just crochet forward, hook it, and then keep going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I get the sitters going. Connor thinks when he hears your voice that someone is there with you. Yes, I do believe that when he was barking. Now, he's been barking most of the morning because I've been on the phone. So now that I'm off the phone, he's got it all out of system. So he thinks I'm still on the phone or doing, you know, he finally said, okay, okay, so my, nobody's here right now. <laughs> but I agree, Bonnie. I do believe that he thinks somebody's coming in that door. And he's just going to tell him he's there. <laughs> oh, and, and I hope you're doing very well, Bonnie. And I'm glad you didn't get snow. But there's some... We had lightning thunder last night. It was really, I, I don't mind, you know, it too badly. Tornadoes, you know, that's always a risk. But, um, yeah, it must be cold for you to get snow in it. Yeah. Sometimes it gets too cold here to snow. It turns into sleep. It's just nasty, 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 nasty. And here's Matt. Hi, Matt. No. Novik. I hope I'm saying your name right, Matt. Good. Good day, me ma. Spring needs to come sooner. <laughs> yes, you're right about that. <laughs> Are you predicting anything, Matt? 
And Schnauzer, Lily, and Billy Sue say hello. Well, hello to you guys. <laughs> now we all get our mindset. You too, Lily, now. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Get your mindset. Spring's coming early, right? I don't know. How did the weather come in in March? You know the old saying, in like a lion, out like a lamb, or in like a lamb and out like a lion, or something. I've got to remember. I think I put it on my calendar, What the, how it came in. I can't remember if we had bad weather or not. Do you, did you have bad weather the first day of March? You didn't check? You don't remember? <laughs> well, we can't remember everything. We can't. <laughs> oh, cold here. Partly cloudy in the 40s. That's chilly. Yeah, that's chilly. This morning it's 53 and it's uh, 12 o'clock. <laughs> so the morning is just about gone, about three minutes, and I'll be in the afternoon. <laughs> I was late this morning. I just had a lot going on this morning. I didn't even do my Bible study this morning, which is, and God, I'll catch up with you, baby. Just hang in there. And uh, let's see. I think let's see if I on the other side. And who knows? Said twenty hours ago. Hi, me, Ma. One of my baby peeps died during the night last night. That's Friday night. Oh, that's. Sad. It was not a predator. So hard to know what happened. It's 82 degrees here today in my part of Texas. Wow, this was posted 20 hours ago, so they've had some warm weather, and I am so sorry. Who knows? They were so precious. And so the others, they're still with Mama, and Mama and the babies are okay today. Are you okay? Are you okay? I know. You fell in love with those little babies, did you? <laughs> they just they just grabbed your heart, didn't they? <laughs> well, you're probably teaching tomorrow, right? Teaching crochet tomorrow. Do you do that once a week or or with your lessons there? Do you meet them and then work with the individuals? That's better, isn't it? Working with individuals or I don't know, sometimes when you have two or three students, they help each other, which makes it sometimes worse and sometimes better. I'm so proud you're giving lessons, so that's a wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. And let's see. We've got I think that all I think I read all the comments today and thank you for commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna continue on with uh, my little tiny uh, Granny Squares. And I, look how I did this. Did you see what this is? I didn't have a place to put this, so I taped a crochet hook right there. That's a crochet hook. And so where the handle is, see the handle right there? And then the little point at the top, the hook itself. Well, I had needed a place to hang this so I wouldn't have to get up, you know, because I don't need this chair very much. And so I said, oh, that's going to work just perfect. And it does. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> oh, he's decided there's somebody here. So anyway, they're really cute little squares. It, you know, they're just fun to make. Look how little. Look how tiny. <laughs> and you make them into flowers, you know, and are... Just whatever you want to do. Be pretty on a, tr on a um, like if you had a blanket and you put these little squares all the way around the blanket. You know, separated by white or yellow. Or you could use them like this and you could make a shelf, crocheted shelf scarf. You know, where all the yellows are hanging down and you make it flat on the top, you know, so it lays on the shelf. Just lots of things. Connor, I think I'm going to have to go for today. I hope that you're going to have a great, I know you're going to have a great day and uh, continue to comment. I do appreciate it so very, very much and uh, support each other, love each other and remember God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, the birds, the bees, the flowers and the trees and for who? 
you each other because you are special. Bye-bye. Me and my little squares are going to go square dancing. Bye-bye. <laughs>